Hello students, today in your algebra class we're going to be working on multiplying binomials and factoring them as well. So just a quick warm up problem, problems, this would be a really good time for you to pause your screens and check to see if your answers are correct. Hopefully you've paused your screens and you're just checking to see if your answers are right. And if you did do it right, your answers should look like the following above in black. So. The purpose of this is at the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve and distribute with binomials and factor along polynomials. So let's start with some simplifying. In here, this is just some basic distribution. So as we go through this, all you're really doing is distributing this monomial in front to the binomial in the quantity. So really 3x times x is 3x squared plus 30x. Notice 3x three ta three times 10 is 30x. For example 2, it's the same idea. We're going to distribute this 4y squared to each piece. So 4 times 9 is 36. And then y squared times y to the third is y to the fifth. Plus 4 times 8 is 32. And y squared times y squared is y to the fourth minus 44y squared. Now for factoring, this is actually a lot easier than one would think. All we're doing is we're looking for similarities or things that each monomial has in common. So to make that easier, we're actually going to break each piece down. So 4x is literally 1 and we get the multiplication sign. 1 times 2 times 2 times x times x plus 1 times 2 times x. So if you look at what's gone down, all we really did here is take 4x squared and break it down into this piece right here, and 2x got broken down here, okay, because 1 times 2 times 2 is 4, and x times x is x squared. So what we do after that is we look at what they have in common. So notice that they both have a 1 in common and a 2 in common, so 1 in common and a 2 in common, so I'm going to underline those, and the x they both have in common. So whatever their common factor is, we're going to write that in the front. So it's 1 times 2 times x is what they have in common. And then in parentheses, I'm going to put in what's left over. So if we look at this piece right here, we could see that the 1 and the 2 are gone because they're underlined. The only thing left is this 2 and that x. Then if you keep reading, we have the plus sign. And there's really nothing left here but besides another 1. So your final answer should read 2x times the quantity 2x plus 1. Let's try it again with example 6. 3x to the fifth gets broken down. 1 times 3 times x times x times x 5 times plus 6x to the third power, which is 1, times 2, times 3, times x, times x, times x, plus 1 times 2 times x. So we broke this down, and you don't have to do it as thoroughly as we're doing it now, but this is just to prove a point, or to make a point. We're looking for what they both have in common. They all have 3 in common, Oh, I take that back. They don't all have a 3. They all have a 1, so we'll underline those. They all have some x's in common, so let's do it in pieces. This has an x, this has an x, and this has an x. So while we're on it, the last monomial, 1 times 2 times x, it has no, mo no more x's in common, but the other ones do. And 
unfortunately, you can't factor out an x unless every single monomial has it. So at this point, we're done. They all have a 1, and they all have an x in common. And then, in parentheses, what's left over? So we have the 3 and x to the 4th plus 2 times 3, which is 6, 6x six squared plus 2. So your final answer should read the same exact thing, but we don't have to keep the 1 in there. So here is your final answer for example 6. Now it's your turn. Try solving these three problems by simplifying and then factoring out what these polynomials have in common. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.